Good time of day, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we're going to be connecting to the Forex VPS from within Windows. In order for us to do that, we need two things. Number one, Windows Remote Desktop Connection. And number two, the email from our VPS vendor detailing all relevant information, such as our server address, our username, and our password. To begin, let's start the remote desktop connection. It is accessible from the Windows Start menu by typing in remote. As you can see, the first item in our programs listing is the remote desktop connection, which is what we need and what we need to do is to click it and it opens up. You can also find this program under the start menu, all programs, accessories, remote desktop connection. If you cannot find the remote desktop connection under any of the menus on your PC, then do the following. On your keyboard, press the window key and the R key simultaneously. This will bring the Run dialog box. In this box, type in MSTSC and then press Enter. And this brings our remote desktop connection application, which we will need in order to connect to the VPS. Next, we will open up the VPS vendor's email and from this email, we will copy the server address, the username, and the password into our remote desktop connection. And let's do that. The server address, copy. Remote desktop connection based. Okay. Here we expand additional options for the username. The administrator gave us, the uh, vendor gave us rather, it's uh, administrator. So uh, we paste in administrator. And we also click allow me to save credentials. Next, we press the Local Resources tab. On this tab, make sure that both the printers and the clipboard checkboxes are checked. Next, we click the More button. On this form, we expand the Drives tree and check off the drive which contains the installation files to be later used on the VPS. In my case, this is on the D drive since I have two partitions. In your case, it could be a C drive, an F drive, or anything else. It depends on where you keep your installations. Once you have checked the drive, that you are going to be sharing with the VPS, click OK. Now we are ready to click the Connect button. Let's do that. A warning box appears asking us whether we trust this remote connection, to which we say yes by clicking this box. Don't ask me again for connections to this computer. And then we click Connect. Windows Security Credentials box comes up and all we have to do here is just enter our password, which we will do. And make sure that the Remember My Credentials checkbox is checked. And then we just click the OK and see what happens. And we have successfully connected to the VPS. From the VPS, we must check 
whether we have a connection to our local drive containing all the installation files to be later used on this blank VPS. To do so, we open a VPS Windows Explorer and in the listing of drives we see a remote or a network drive. In this case it's a D and I have this uh, very cryptic name of my PC. So this is the, uh, the correct drive. Let's double click it and see if we're connecting to it. And yes, we are connecting to it. Excellent. So at this point, we are done uh, connecting to the VPS. Now, to finalize the whole process, there might be one more optional step for us to take. And I repeat, this is optional. You do not have to do this. But it is very convenient and therefore worthy of doing. Instead of starting a remote desktop connection every time we need to connect to the VPS, wouldn't it be better to just connect at a click of a mouse? I think most of you would agree with me that it's a lot better. So let's do it. Let's fire up our remote desktop connection. Expand the options and then click Save As. What we would like to do is to save our VPS connection to a clickable file. That means that the next time we need to connect to our VPS, all we'll have to do is just double click this file and it will take us to our VPS automatically. More than that, we can copy this file over onto any other computer which runs Windows operating system and be connected to the VPS in the same exact fashion as we are connecting to it from this particular computer. Okay, so um, let's save it. Um, in this case, it's default.rdp, but you are free to give it any name you like and uh, make sure you remember where you put this file, where you saved it, uh, which directory or which folder you saved it in. Okay, click Save. And we can close it. So let's test it out. First, open Windows Explorer. And then let's open the location where we saved our file. Okay, um, in this case it's default.rdp. Let's double click it. And we're connecting to the VPS. And before we know it, we are connected to the VPS. Great. And ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching and take care.